Right, hello everybody. This is um, Junk in the Trunk, hashtag 14. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make something out of a paper bag, okay, which I will use one of these. I think my, um, yeah, I'm going to use one of those. These were made by Janet Hicks, my sister. And as I went over there last week and she had these lying on the table and I thought, oh, these are brilliant and fantastic for junk in the trunk, all right? Because this was literally all stuff that was around her desk that she made them out of, all right? But she did use these um, like brown bags and they are very thin, okay? But she sort of like doubled them over, not doubled them over, but um, what do you call it? Using, losing my words this morning already. Okay, like collaged over the top with tissue paper and different things, all right? And that's, she made pockets in them there. Another one there. Okay, so it's just this is just a fun thing to do out of bags. So then she's also got um, this one here. This feels a bit like wallpaper. And she's painted over the top, so yeah, well, there's the bags, yeah. And on all the creases, you have to sort of reinforce that because they will, but that will come undone, not come undone, they wear here. So um, that's, yeah, that feels like wallpaper under there. I'm not saying it is, but it feels like it. Okay, and it, you know, it's got that real nice feeling. And again, it's another, it's made a little journal that can be put into your handbag. Skinny one, and they work out about three, I think. Three inches. So look again, all made with scraps. Okay, three inches. Yeah, I mean, you could make them skinnier, um, well, less pages, and they were, you know, they would slip nice into a journal, wouldn't they? So, again, it's all made out of scraps. So, my challenge to make these are, yeah, scraps, but I'm going to use household paints so I'll show you these first though I'm jumping ahead sorry my mind does tend to jump around a bit there's another one here okay just used all bits and pieces that are around yeah and that's like tissue paper put on the top of here and everything It there and this is all bits and pieces that were laying around that's that yeah it's about three as well a bit like the skinny journals isn't it but so we would do it out of scrap and this was loads of buttons she had lying around i think this is great <laughs> and some more there just, okay on a bit just wondering, no, you I just wondered if you get two sets of them out of an A4. I think you would actually, maybe. Another one there, and this one looks like it's actually been done with tissue paper. Looking at it, that does look like tissue paper put over the top. Okay. And reinforced all that and she stitched about around this one but that's all bits and pieces lying around okay done like a collage with it for the front okay so we're going to sort of replicate that but you know my way um yes household paints now i got we belong to a scrap store here in the uk or well, not everybody does have them but we do have them in cornwall and these are all free Okay, but I mean, this is household paint. So I thought I'd try and use that. I have no idea how it will work. I think I have used household paint on different things before. Okay, so we shall see. All right, and I'm sure mixed with a bit of glue. I'm sure if you mix, right, okay. I have a feeling. If you mix household paint, okay, which is water-based, with a little bit of glue, PVA, that will become like acrylic paint, I'm sure of it, because I'm sure that's what they add to acrylic paint is glue, some kind of binding substance. Yeah, so we shall play with that then <laughs> as well. Oh, and the colours, I'm, I, I had no choice of colours, this is what they have, you know. So 
I thought, oh well, I'll just pick those. I thought those were quite nice together. There, I might use that one. Use those three. That's walnut, mellow sage, in mimosa. It's quite nice. Yeah, I'll put the teal away, I think. Keep it soft. Okay. All right, so the first thing you need is a bag. So she made them out of those. Oh, she did give me one, but I've only got one. And I've got quite a few of these. And I wanted to make the wrap over one. All right, that, well, that would be okay just for the, the skinny one. All right, but a wrap over one with that. Right, now I've got all bits and pieces. This is literally, that's the muslin that comes from India, I think, when you buy sari stuff. It's usually packed in those bags. So I've got quite a few of those. And all, I've got all this. This is all bits and bobs in my rubbish bin. Well, not in my bin, but in a, I shove it all in a tray. All bits and pieces. This is just scraps, okay? And I've also got in here is all my scraps I cleared from my desk. Okay, with what I've been doing recently. And that's all little bits, bits of file folder. <laughs> oh, that's actually the, um, the folio I've been doing, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I haven't finished yet, but anyway, I thought, no, I'll clear my desk and then put it in a bag and show you what I've got. And I will be using some of this. So just to prove that, you know, I do use scraps. Because <laughs> it was literally piled by the side of me. Right. Okay, so this is all bits of random, very random, gessoed stuff, page book pages, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it looks like I was doing some pockets. Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I was. Okay, so, yeah. This is, I think, this comes from a, like a, a pharmaceutical company. That was also in the scrap store. You can make pockets out of that. That's in there. There's, you know, end book pages. Tore out books. This is a torn envelope, but no idea why I tore it enough. You know what they are. <laughs> That's an envelope. That one's actually okay. Another torn envelope. And then loads of little, that one's okay as well, so I'll leave that one alone. Yeah. It's all envelopes and I've also got envelopes drying in the sun now that are from the in the post okay that hopefully I use yeah. I just sprayed them with coffee and they're actually drying in the sun now all this is bits and pieces and that is some of my you know college bits that you saw me put together that's just lying around so again it's all bits okay Oh yeah, we've got these, all these sort of envelopes as well. I might not use them, but I love this for collage in here. And especially this one, the honeycomb. So I'm going to actually rip that down because I'm not going to use that one as an envelope. I use this. I love it. Okay. Yeah. And you can use that. Now, perhaps I'll cut that off. Yeah. Good idea, Andrea. I'll keep that for my collage. And then let's cut this off a minute. Keep that for a window for something. Okay, so, and then I can use that for the collage. Actually, I might even be able to make something out of that to go in the journal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We shall see, anyway. Okay, the first thing to do is get a bag. Right, okay. Where well, my bag is. I'm not really going to give measurements. I'll just show you what size my bag is because, you know, the video in is quite deceptive, isn't it? So mine is nine inches long, or I should say ten, really. That's the lip. Nine and a half. Okay. By seven. Now I found a good place to, is about, I think about three and a half inches, I think, if I remember rightly. Yeah, that's three, I'll just check. 
Yeah, three and a half. Okay, and then there's our fold over there to give us a bit of a lip. Yeah, wrap, over, wrap around. Right, now I'm using scrapbooking card. Pattern you don't like, you know, doesn't matter. But I need to coffee stain this, okay? Because I haven't done it and I need to really because it's quite bright. So I've got me Tim Holtz vintage photo there and I shall spritz it on. I water it down. It's a lot more concentrated than this. And age it up a bit it's only the edges really this bit here so it shows in the envelope but okay I will get that dry okay while the other bit is drying I thought I'd get on with another one okay because I'm going to use one with tissue paper I think I'm going to use this okay and another one I'm going to use collage and paint and that sort of and household paint all right, so we're gonna gonna go from here, from there. Um, tissue paper I get from TK Maxx, but again, it can be anything to do this. All right, I'm just having a bit of fun today. Right, so this needs to be cut, you know, a little bit shorter than that to go in, to go in inside there. All right, so I need some glue. Actually, I might need get a new one right. Right, we get okay now you need to do this with the wet glue to be honest I'm not worried too much about um, sticking it totally down all right so got to be that there I would say there's not much coming out of this one if you don't do it with wet glue you won't be able to slide it in hopefully I can do it before it dries <laughs> very hot today okay all right so that'll be the inside you see and that's what you'll see inside okay we're gonna gesso all that so okay so I'm gonna trim down there Again, this is literally um, scrapbooking paper that I don't use at all. That's there. And then I am going to shape not those. Shape the sides a bit. Okay, well I tend to, at this time, just do it, give it a, a fold, okay, and a burnish. There's about three and a half inches, like I said. Okay. Just so that we can get, you know, a feel for everything. Right, now what I want to do is we either put Tyvek down these or a little bit of cloth. I'm going to use cloth today before I cover it. I've got from that, I've already tore some off. I did tore some more off. And we also need to tape the top there for reinforcement. This masking tape, this is like a postal tape. I really like it. I have to put it on here, just line up the edge and then it doesn't matter if it's straight or anything because you cover that over and that just reinforces that bit and also gives quite a nice edge here because I haven't got a brown bag. If I had a brown bag it wouldn't be so bad. But then I could have coffee stained the bag. But as it happens, I haven't. So we will work with that. 
and all those sort of things help you to, to learn how to sort of come over obstacles, okay? And the same here. Yeah, I got this from Amazon, it's absolutely brilliant actually. Because it's usually white, isn't it? And I thought, oh, saw that one and I should put the link below for that. I'm trying to work out how I share my wish list on Amazon because I've been adding things to it so I could share it for you of what I tend to buy. But I'm not sure how you share it. <laughs> not yet. Need to look it up. Okay. And so I'm going to do that as well. Again, could have inked up the edges, but I'm doing it with tape because I think it just gives it a bit of protection. <laughs> Okay, and I'm definitely going to put some on there. This is hard, this bit to do, all right, but it can be done. So you have to start off in the inside. Yep. It goes in there and leaves some out, yeah. be very careful. Okay. And then when you get down to there, just cut that off. We could have done all that first. But. Okay, there we go. That feels actually quite quite good already. Yeah. Okay, right. Shall we paint then? No, Gesso first. Uh, see, I nearly forgot. I always use Gesso. Protects all the paper. And it's quick drying. And then all the paint will lay on top of the Gesso instead of going through the paper. You can do it with a brush if you want. I'm just going to do it with a credit card. Just take that up. It needs to be dried off, and then we'll do the other side. So that's all dry, so go ahead and do the other side as well, all right, and then dry it off, and then we can carry on. Just let you know, the gesso primer I'm using at the moment is that one, okay. I've got other makes, I try to go for the less less gritty one, all right. I like the, the one from the works in the UK, that one should, I'm not sure, I mean, most probably should be able to get that in the US. Because that's, that's quite a big company um, and the Pebio do one as well but I haven't used that one yet I'll say I got that one recently so once this is gone I'll be trying that okay okay that's all nice and dry and what I do I just check around to make sure there's no white edges like here because we'll be sort of like adding glue now so if you add glue and seal that then it's it's harder to get rid of the white edges so I will do them now I don't mind here, that's fine. So it's these ones here. Right, um, yeah, so that's all dry. So what I'm gonna do now is, let's have a look. I'm gonna do the inside because we've only got one layer here, okay? And then that is the, you know, outside. So we'll sort that out in a minute, okay? But I'm gonna collage this bit here. And I'm using neat Mod Podge. Okay. I like doing this sort of thing with gel medium, to be honest, but 
I know a lot of you haven't got that, so I thought, well, I'll use Mod Podge and go from there. Right, here I'm going to put a bit of acetate in, before I forget. Okay. That just stops everything sticking to that, and then just start collaging. Totally random, <laughs> without a doubt. One of the tissue paper dragonflies I've left over from some else I've been doing. I've got a couple more, so they're all going to be used up because they will get lost in everything. I actually feel like I need water in this my podge. But we shall do it neat and see what happens. I feel right. The same people do go on about using this at full strength. My podge. I actually don't like it. I find it quite tacky. But I thought I'd give it a go. People do use it. Right. I need some more text or. In music paper. Okay, that needs to be dried off. And then we'll do the other side. Again, let's give us a nice lot of, um, you know, robustness. <laughs> but, oh. Definitely going to add water on the next one. I don't like that. Right, I'm just going to add some, while that's drying, I'm going to add some water to this and then do the other side with it watered down so we'll see the difference. Right, okay, that's all but dry. But as you can see, just neat um, Mod Podge creates too much of a shiny surface to work on. Right, so that's why I either like to water down my my podge or use matte medium. Okay, there we go. I use matte medium on the other one I'm doing, and I use watered down mod podge on this side, and then we can see the difference. I, mean, I can get out of this because I can add gesso and things like that. So because it's not a finish, I find mod podge is mod podge is the best thing to use as a finish. Okay, not as for collage or anything like that. You know, if you want to protect something when you finish your work, then neat Mod Podge can't beat it, or neat PVA. You know, it's really good. But yeah, so I would have to sand that down quite a lot to get rid of that and do different things. It's not an easy surface to work on. It wouldn't take any watercolors or anything like that, which, you know, you don't want. You want to be able to work on top of things like this. All right, so let's do the other side with the watered down one. I literally, it's, mm, I'm maybe not quite two to one. All right, I would say, oh gosh, what can I say? I would say two parts glue, half water. All right, literally I put three squirts in here. All right, so and hopefully it's enough, but just paint over it all first. Didn't put the Tyvek in either, did we? Oh well. Never mind. Too late now. It's got thick card on it, so. Okay. 
it's about as random as I can get it <laughs> literally just plunking it down let me wipe that off okay well that is a load different with the water down right hardly any shiny bits at all all right up to that one which is almost shiny all over okay right now a few of you have said that um you live in was it very humid climate and your mod podge goes sticky i actually haven't got any here but all you have to do is put talcum powder over it okay that will get rid of the stickiness and it also will stop that sticking together okay right so that's that done now we just i'm just going to trim up okay and just go around and check that you know everything's sort of trimmed up really so i'm going to add some a bit of paint to the sides so all i do here is just trim up any bits that we don't want you should do it the other way make sure you don't cut into your envelope or oh, not envelope bag in that <laughs> this time i mean this is actually feeling really strong now Just going to get this folded again, about three and a half on that, just to make sure what you've got to make sure that this on here. Okay, that sometimes where you do your fold, this these little bits here that come up. So what you have to do is just fold that now. And then we can check. warm so we can get the mobility or you know bendability back into it as well all right i mean that's no cracking at all okay it was just a couple of pieces there that i would trim off maybe just so they don't come in that break there. okay and a little tiny bit here then you get this nail file it's not quite dry so I've got to be a bit careful okay I'll definitely get this yeah, this one. I usually do it over the side of my desk. You might not be able to see it, and then just go down, downward. Okay, and just taper off that edge that we've done. Yeah, that's feeling. Honestly, they feel lovely. Yeah, I'm just moving it around. I mean, look, that's no way is that going to crack or anything. Okay. really pliable i'm gonna leave that for a minute because i'm quite liking that right this side so we definitely need gesso on it to get rid of that shiny look and we can do that again after um oh, let's shall we try these instead i'm gonna try these instead okay if i can get into them <laughs> there we go oh that's nice all right okay i need a bit of a palette oh, oh it's quite runny i need to shake him this is just water-based emulsion that's all that is well i wonder if you mix it with gesso i reckon that would work that's better yeah i'm gonna mix it with gesso 
guessing. I know it'll dull it down a bit, but that's okay. So I've got a bit in there. It still won't be white, so. More of that. So this is just household emotion motion. It's just a very thin layer. I think it's looking really good actually. Hold on. I need to tidy up here so I'm going to get paint everywhere. Some nice texture in the background going on. Okay. I mean if you wanted to you get a wet wipe and you wipe off areas. I'm actually really liking that because I think I'm going to over stamp so you can this not wet I haven't got any here I must get some but you can sort of peel back some areas if you want to. Right, so I need to dry that and then we'll do the other side. So I'm going to do both sides actually because I really like that. I'm going for my white look by the look of it. Alright, dry that off. There we go. And I think that's looking great because we can over stamp and do things like that. But we've got a lot going on there. Okay, so I can't see it myself very well because I've got the sun shining. So sorry about the glare, folks. There we go. It's absolutely glorious today. But I am going to do the same, exactly the same with that one. But I'm going to add a bit of the sage green. Is it sage? Yep, um, mellow sage to that cream. Quite fancy a bit of that and see what happens and a bit of gesso that one wasn't so runny so again this is experimenting with household emulsion away fly right now you see I'm lightly going over get rid of all those shiny bits I'm not worried about what I put there at all okay now we need a wet wipe which I haven't got but I'll just wet an old one down and I'm going to rub some of this off. Yeah. Covered just a bit too well. bring some of that back good and then dry that off right I'm just gonna I'm just adding a little bit of gesso here and there I just felt as though it needed a little bit of brightening up it's just looking a bit dull again this is experiment <laughs> never used this before in my life emulsion so but I've no people well I have actually years and years ago but not for this sort of projects different projects so I'm literally just picking up some of the gesso there on its own I prefer the cream on that side. Okay, that's better. 
Let's see, I just find it a little bit dull looking where the green was. That green was the most peculiar colour, I think. That, that colour's okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, that is definitely brighter. Lovely. Okay, there we go. And that was emulsion paint. And still nice and flexible. Okay, it's not cracking or anything at all. All right, so I'm going to play now with a bit of ivy, shabby shutters, ivy shutters. I fancy a bit of that green on here for some reason. Okay, so I am going to go over the top like that and then spritz with water and I'm actually going to dry with my slow heat gun not that one so I need to plug that in this doesn't blow anything around I say this is total experimentation folks all right and we shall see the outcome all right don't need that yet do I so I'm gonna go over Sort of, no, I'll pick up all on those like that. I'm not worrying about these on here, they can disappear. All right, I'm not worried about those at all. I stuck them there because they was around. Okay, a little spritz of water, make sure it's water. and then dry it okay that's all nice and dry <clears throat> and I am oh, I was gonna say sorry about all the steps that I use um, I do this because after all we're using you know stuff that's going to be thrown away so we have to do something you know with it basically that sometimes takes a few steps you know, and, and that's the way I like to work because this to me is my playtime, it's my relaxation and I love to make things out of nothing. So, you know, sorry if some of you find the steps a little bit too tedious, then that's fine. You know, you must do it your way. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some tea stain, okay, and I want it sort of you know around the edges and I might might add some more water this is just the inside so I'm not worrying too much I just need to sort of dull it down a bit really and I don't mind if it all goes on there it's fine I just need to age it a bit now some of those bits there that I quite like but then I'm going to get a wet wipe and it does need to be fairly damp so a bit of water and I'm going to just age it a bit Here we go, and then we'll do this, dry this off, and then we'll go to the front. Okay, it's all dry. Do you know what? It really is feeling lovely. <laughs> right, so let's do something with this then. Um, it's only going to be a background because I'm going to add embellishments and things like that. Okay, and maybe some tissue paper. Actually, I might get a napkin. Let's see if we've got what napkins we got. Hold on. Okay, these are all my little bits of napkins I've got left over. You know, the real most of these are tiny bits. Okay, that's left over from projects that I've taken apart and all that. So I thought, oh, I'm actually going to use that one. I think 
that looks lovely already. <laughs> it's quite a bit on this one. I think that's that's gonna look great. Oh my gosh, yes. Isn't it? It's lovely. Right, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna actually do a bit of stamping, but wait a minute, I want to see where this is going. Right, that's gonna go like that. Okay. I think I'll do the stamping at the top. Oops. That would be there. Okay, I'm going to let's see if we got enough. Yeah, we have. And I think that'd be quite nice. And then the stamping, because I'm gonna cut around here, if you can see. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do some stamping at the top. Yeah, and maybe also come around here as well, so I can see a bit of stamping through there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because that's looking great. I like it. And we'll still see bits and pieces through here, through the napkin. And we we needed to do the, um, some people might say, well, why have you done that? Well, it's because the, the paper of the bag was really, really thin. So by doing this, you're getting rid of some of your bits. All right, and it's but and it's creating another layer layer on your bag. All right, now this this is as good enough for a journal cover. All right, it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, looks a bit dull now and there, doesn't it? Oh well, up to that side. We shall sort it out in a minute once we've done the front. I want to get a feel for what's happening. Yeah, there's all my little bits in there, look, like bits that I've cut off and just shove them in a the bag. Right, but. That one, oh, a big bit. no, I'm gonna stick with that one. I like that. Crocus, it was spring, isn't it? Never mind, doesn't matter. <laughs> it should be going all to me. Never mind, we can make it look autumn. <laughs> right, stamping. Um, okay. Fancy using one of these again. I really like that stamp. Set one there. And some text. I might have that one actually. Do some alphabets down the side. It's fancy doing something different. Right. Oops. Need some archival ink. And this one's definitely going to go here. There. I know this one won't show, but I'm going to put it there anyway. Okay, it might show underneath, I'm not sure, but it will be there. Okay. Not quite fancy that there, but I'm going to have to cover it. I put that there now as a mask, okay? Yeah. It didn't come out very well, it didn't press hard enough really, but that's all right. Um, yep, because it's all going to be hidden anyway. There we go. It's brand new, isn't it? We just need a bit of contrast. in a minute with a bit more okay but that's fine for now okay right, I'm just going to give that a bit of a dry so it heats set a bit all right let's check where I'm starting from which was here 
Okay, so I need it like that. I'll turn over and I'll get it in the right place. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to get my water brush now and go around on this one because I literally need to see what's happening. And I'll let a little bit overhang here for mistakes. And we need to come that way a bit. Right. All right. I will be using the butterfly, but I'll stick it on separate. Yeah. And I'm going to stick up those separate as well. Okay, all right, water down, my podge, two to one. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said that. <laughs> There we go, right, leave that alone and leave it to dry and we shall be back with you. Okay. Right, okay, I don't know about you but I'm really liking that. That's really nice. Okay, right, not keen on this in here, it's just not up to how I like that. So, this is where I get my gesso out, or actually I'm going to get out that paint and I'm going to paint over the whole lot of it <laughs> and start again. <laughs> so again, this is a good good thing for you to see. Right, I just, no, I just don't like it. It's just done dingy and but that I love. I, love, I like the colours, I like the way, you know, the things are showing through in the background there. I love it. I'm really pleased with that. So, oh, and don't forget, as you know, I will sand mine down. If this is your first video, well, I just get an emery board very gently, but it has to be dry, 100% dry. Okay, and you just get your exercise, get your daily exercise. <laughs> and just sand it all down and then it's all lovely and smooth all right so let's have fun with this one then <laughs> oh it's just no i don't like it it's not right. it's not nice <laughs> i've got some i've got some of the white left so let's brighten it all up And these dragon, um, dragon, yeah, dragonflies bugging me for some reason. So they're going. I love them. I love dragonflies, but I'm painting over all of it. I'm sort of leaving bits. If you can see what I'm doing. I'm 
just sort of gently dragging the brush over it. This is an emulsion, by the way. Okay, love it. So I'm going to dry that off. And then I'm going to, I'm leaving that bit of text there because I really like that there. Then I will sand it down and then I'm going to use the rest of this napkin that we used on the front in there as well. All right, looks like that's loads better. Needed to be brighter. All right, dry that off and then we'll put the napkin on in places on the inside. Right, we'll do a little bit of stamping first. I'm going to use this one because that glows better and I've sanded it down it's all smooth okay but it's still got a lovely grungy feel to it and actually the emulsion was pretty good the only thing I would suggest is I think to use as a gesso uh, yes it, it's pretty good but I would water it down a bit it needs to be thinner all right it's really good at covering really good all right as we know it's not a gesso but as for a paint nothing wrong with it whatsoever and you can still, you know, by the feel of it, you can still work on the top of that. Okay, and I've still got bits showing through, you know, with the text here and different things going on in the background. There's some music notes coming through here. So I've got, I'm liking that, that's nice. And it does feel lovely. Um, I'm using this one, I think it come on, I'm, I'm sure that's the one that come on here. Yeah, I think so. Okay, but that's the one there. You can see that, all right? Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna randomly do it, okay? Because I'm not sure where anything is going. So let's do this nice and randomly. Just a bit in there. 